Hello everybody, this is RD Kamikaze again, bringing back to you my hydrogen generator version, uh, like 4.0, version 4.0, cause I think it is, or 5.0, I don't know, who cares. Anyways, I just wanted to let you all know that over time I did some thinking and my generators, they all sucked and sucked and sucked, but this one... I call my generator of the generators bringing back to you the best newest and most improved generator of my generators anyways I'm gonna be testing it here pretty soon because I just recently did an addition and added all this black stuff you see there on the side and the bottom this little cool cups just to hold it in there on that side and it's good because it seals it off what I used over here a little contraption of by the way it eats styrofoam nobody tells you that but me and I use this stuff called plaster dip I lost the cap which also kind of sucks but anyways so I you know put it on there and it took a while it takes an hour to dry and pretty good stuff. Hopefully that's what everybody says. Now I have here went to the store and bought some distilled water. Again, everybody use only this because it's great for you. And my sodium hydroxide. It's called Robec. Robic, I don't even know how you say it. Crystal drain opener. It also comes in liquid, but eh, screw the liquid. I like the crystals. Crystals are awesome. Yay, crystals. So anyways, I'm going to show you all today, right now, how to make a solution that will work when you use sodium hydroxide and distilled water. A good basis to think about is using a quarter teaspoon about per every 32 ounces. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the lid and I'm just going to say screw waiting because I am going to use my handy dandy sharpie that I got like ton of these at the dollar store for and they're actually really nice anyways handy dandy sharpie thing I'm gonna come up here this is a half teaspoon Just by the way for everybody's reference of oh, darn nabbit I kinda can't do this with one and let's see I'm gonna tip that hold on Oh no! Oh no! Again, shoe. All right, crystal drain opener. All right, you ready? You ready? So here we go. Half a teaspoon. Oh no! Look at it go. It's in there somewhere now. Let me come back over here. Sorry, I'm holding the camera all funky. See if I can do it, darn it. Alright, hold on again, little camera. Bring it back down to your level. And another half teaspoon. Yay! Ah. Again, each one of these is one half. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm a little sick. One half teaspoon. Awesome stuff. And now I now have almost a full teaspoon in here. Just kind of shake it up a little just to be happy and show. Oh no, and got a little splurge out of it. Show the distilled water that you love it. Give it some love. Love it and turn it and squish it and whatever, however, any, if there's any song like that. Anyways. <laughs> and then voila, you instantly have. A one quarter per, all right, one quarter teaspoon per quart, because there's four quarts in a gallon, and there's quarter teaspoon per 32 ounces, which is, uh, no, I forget, I don't know, anyways, <laughs> sorry, mind blank, I just woke up, and we just go ahead and pour it into our new generator, ah, generator, why me? Why generator? Why? I don't like the water. Uh. 
That was easy. And now we test it, which will be on my next video, coming up in just a few moments. Don't forget to visit SolaraGuy.org, go Toyotas, or FuelSaver.org for hydrogen generator support. It's a great online form. You will learn a lot. Goodbye.